Xin Chow, what's up everybody? We're over in Tan Phu at Aeon Mall. These are the best malls in all of Vietnam and arguably Asia. They are a Japanese mall company uh, and they're fantastic. We're here on a weekday, but usually on a weekend. I'll try to cut in some of that footage now. You'll see it's an absolute madhouse. I have filmed this before, but this video more so is going to be American malls versus Vietnamese malls and why Vietnamese malls are incredibly better. We're in their amazing food court, which is one of the craziest food courts you'll ever be in on a weekend or when it's busy. Now, this is pretty busy for a weekday. And the thing that they're known here for is, believe it or not, they have really good sushi. Like, it's not bad at all. We always get a bunch of sushi when we're here and we eat. That's like the first thing we do when we get in here is we come down here and we get some of this sushi. See the prices aren't bad. Look for this whole platter. 159. Six bucks for all that sushi. Look how good the salmon is. 150. Six bucks for all that salmon. That's enough salmon for me for one thing. And you've got the fatty. The for 2.99 for all. That. I mean these prices are can't be And the quality is actually very good. So on the weekend, they'll sell out all this about every hour. Literally every hour they rotate in a whole new thing because it sells that much. They also have a lot of other stuff here. They have typical Vietnamese cuisine. They have fried chicken. Lots of yummy stuff. The fried chicken, I recommend to hover around and wait until they're making a batch and then buy that batch. This is just traditional noodles. I would not get the noodles here, but if you're really a, a purist, maybe. What do we got over here? Here they got a curry station. I'll show you everything. You can film here, so I've never been harassed about filming, but I'm still gonna just hold the camera on the loadout and not make any eye contact with any security guards. It's the best way to avoid getting yelled at if you're filming somewhere. Takoyaki, a Korean fish cake, pre-made curry meals, and then you've got some fried squid over here in different various forms. They love their hot dogs on a stick, so you got all kinds of different ones. Vietnamese street food here. And then they've got pre-packed meals, which are actually very popular here too. Their uh, grocery store is very popular as well. I've been here so many times, I can just relatively do this pretty fast. You know, when you come here, this is an all day event. What's up, dude? This is like a, you can come here for eight hours, six hours. I'll show you why. You can come see a movie here. You can come grab a great meal if you don't want a meal here. This is like usually our snack meal. We'll come here for the snack meal. Hopefully I'm not gonna get, I'm trying to talk over the music and like have it not be in the background. All the malls have recently turned their music up even louder. So I'm getting copyrights on this stuff, which sucks, but it is what it is. It's part of being a YouTuber. I'm not gonna sit here and cry about it. So we'll walk past the sushi. There's some more stuff over here I missed. I don't know where the fried chicken is. There's a bakery too with a bunch of bakery stuff. But the thing here I, I really recommend is the sushi. And it, right if you get here, if you're hungry, you get a few rolls just by the loose ones. And then you come sit down at the table here and you have a little snack and then you're on. Of course, if you're a bloody American and you don't like anything but American food, they've got a delicious McDonald's here, which I will always love McDonald's. I don't care how much somebody hates it. I love it. And that's all that matters. <laughs> I think I saw a fried chicken over there. Just know, fried chicken. How's it going? Good, how are you? You will see some Westerners here at the mall, but in the area you won't. Just more food, stuff like that. This is Texas chicken. This is my favorite chicken in Vietnam. Um, and I swear, if you come here and get this sucker fresh, the Mexicana wrap, you can't go wrong. Watch my Texas chicken review if you wanna see. I think it blows away KFC. I think it has the most authentic Western style recipe that's tra uh, carried over into Asia. Because KFC's recipe is totally different here. Popeye's is different. All these places though, you have to come and get it fresh. You have to have it fresh to made order. You can't get them takeaway or it tastes like shit. Pizza Hut, I don't know what they're doing here, but absolutely skip at all costs. 
as I've explained in other videos, when I first got here, they were still using the original recipe. Now it's heavily altered to cater Vietnamese. What do we got over here? This mall is absolutely gigantic. And when I say gigantic, I mean it's gigantic. You could take a half hour on each floor. I don't remember a four piece being on the bottom here. This might be new. Again, four piece pizza for me, extremely overrated. There's way better pizza spots. But if you like 4P, go for it. It's just a Napoli style pizza. So it's a pizza you can't take away, you can't deliver. You have to have it out of the oven within five minutes like any Napoli pizza. Even less than that. Ideally, you want it from the oven, pulled out of the wood, wood fire oven, into your mouth within a minute. And then you've got to eat the pizza pretty quick. That's why they come as smaller pizzas. So you can eat them fast before the, all the sauce leaks into the crust and makes it soggy. Get the dice in here. So the big main difference between an American mall and a Vietnamese mall is the malls are not dead here. They are absolutely booming business. If you come to any mall during any holiday, absolutely jam-packed from the top to the bottom. Like it is just a mad wild show. Uh, it's a big thing for the whole family to come out still. It's like how all our malls were 20 years ago. Like that's how big of a difference in time leap that they've still got. And online shopping's huge here. Like Tiki is the king and Shopee for cheaper stuff. Those places absolutely dominate, but people still want to come to in person to a mall. They want to go get on their motorbike and drive to something. They want to shop for a few hours, go have maybe a nice luxury meal upstairs and then maybe go play some video games in the arcade or go bowling. You can do all that here in one spot. These cleaning robots suck. You'll never convince me these things are good. Ever. Unless you have a super minimalistic house with a large open platform with no rugs and carpets. Sure. No, other than that, they're poor investment in my opinion. such a big mall. Let's start skipping through the levels. I don't want to take and do like a full. It takes about an hour and a half to walk through this whole thing. Just walking slow and explaining each thing. So if you want to see that full video, I'll try to listen at the end. Winnie's in them with me. One of them is a really, really popular video on the channel. Winnie's at work today. You know, since we have all the dogs now, it's not as easy for us to go out on the weekend as it was before. There's Digibook. You get your Apple stuff, yay. Samsung right next door competing. With I think an actual Samsung store because Samsung smartly opens up actual Samsung stores here. An S23 is a nice phone, but I'll take my fold, thank you. Mucho better. Japanese shop, all kinds of different Japanese stuff, snacks, whatever you need. They've got it. I gotta switch batteries at some point. All right, let's start heading up to this thing. I'm gonna start going pretty quick, like I said, because I don't want to uh, rehash stuff. So yeah, the, the big difference is malls are a thing here and they're beautiful and they're well done and the architecture's great and they're not like flat one or two stories like the ones back in America are. I went to malls when I was back there, there was like five people in the entire mall. I'm like, how does this even stay open? And my mom said it was just uh, on winter break when all the snowbirds come that they inject enough money to keep them, keep them going. So this is Decathlon. We're not going to walk in there. It's a sporting goods store. Whatever you need sporting good, Decathlon's got it. Even if you're a fat ass like me, Decathlon has your size. Just pop in there. They've got everything. You want to go camping, you want to do anything like that, pop into Decathlon. They're going to have your back. It's a gigantic sports store. They've got bikes, whatever you need, any kind of outdoor gear come to Decathlon. They got you. You want to paddleboard surf, which I don't know where you would do that. You can do that because I'm not paddleboard surfing in the Saigon River. There's no way. That's the largest stand-up paddleboard I've ever seen. You could have like an orgy on this thing. The bookstore. A bunch of stores, Reeboks, we're talking all the 
the big stores. We're gonna go up one more floor. The music's louder and louder. I think this bookstore has Western books too, so if you want to find regular books. I have not found a lot of Western books here, so I just use my, my pad, my tablet, which is now my Fold 4, to read books on. Through the Amazon thing. They have everything on there. I think this first arcade is for the, the little kids. So you can drop the little kids off here. I do believe they let you drop them off so you can go and shop. And then they have like a little caretaker take care of the kids for you. Yeah, that's this one. So on the weekend, this thing is jam nuts. There's lots of attendants here to take care of your kids. All that. We're gonna walk through on this floor all the way down. And then I'll show you all the fancy food in the adult arcade upstairs. They've just set this up for success. You know, for the whole family to have. If you've got a family full of kids, they've set you up for complete success to bring everybody out and make everybody happy. From mom and dad to the kids. It's an experience that you won't really see anywhere outside of Asia, although I haven't been to many places outside of this part of the world and in the Western world. I'm not an experienced European traveler. I have no idea what's going on over there. That is a fact. I've been to a lot of parts in Mexico, a lot of parts in Asia. This is the crappy toy store. There's a really good toy store if you want like uh, Legos and all that stuff. I think Legos is probably the best toys you can get for your kids. Really get their mind going and awake that inner interactive child, you know. Well, they've got the train here too. So these are the good toy stores. You got Hobbyverse here. So they're gonna have a lot of statues and stuff like that. They're gonna have Technologic back here. And then My Kingdom has a lot of stuff. We've been in so many of these, there's no need to show you, but they have the entire Lego lineup, all the expensive stuff. So if you want to check that out, you can check it out. <coughs> and you got Lock and Lock here. It's home sporting goods, or uh, home, home goods. Made from Korea, very good stuff. If you need an air fryer, get a Lock and Lock. If you need an air purifier, get a Lock and Lock. You need a frying pan, get a lock and lock. This is all, I recommend all this stuff uh, that you get. It's all gonna be good. Highly recommend it. As you can see, this mall is gigantic. That's why I didn't walk through the last four, because I don't want this to be a 40 minute video. I need a blender. But I've been using the like meat grinder thing fine. I've been really into making salsa. It's getting pretty good. It's getting to a point where I think I could sell the salsa now. We're talking a fresh salsa with, with all Vietnamese vegetables. And it tastes pretty good. This, I don't remember time zone. This might be a new addition. But there's, there's a lot of arcade places here. This might be an overflow because the other one, you'll see as we get up there, is so busy. Switch batteries, pay attention. So this is the ticket one. There's a lot of YouTubers that show you how to win at these things. So you can win the prizes and stuff. So as I, I said, fun for the family. I think there's a, the, the first food courts up here. This battery's always so good. Probably got six more minutes. My, <laughs> I keep talking about my good batteries. You know you're a, a YouTuber when you, when you know your favorite battery for your camera that lasts the longest. Or I'm just a dork. Baby shit, if you got babies. Do we have a baby coming? Who knows? This is a little food court. This is like a quick, quick eats. So a bunch of little different restaurants. Oh, there's a Loteria over here. I do like Loteria. If you get it fresh, the chicken sandwich is good. And I like just the plain regular cheeseburger. It's got that like meatloaf cheeseburger appeal. Just walk dead down the middle and you can kind of slow pan. 
traditional Vietnamese food, sushi, bibimbap, bop, com tom type deal, dim sum, kabuki, hot pot, all the traditional stuff you see. Okay, I gotta switch, switch batteries. Give me one second. Just like that, we're back. All right. So hot pot's always the most popular thing up here. Just is. I do not care for Vietnamese hot pot. It's just not my, not my deal. This says Bangkok right out. Shall I? It's it's Thai. They call it Thai, but like, it doesn't taste like Thai. It tastes like Vietnamese. What their idea of Thai would be. If you get what I'm saying. Oh, cuties. I'll be getting the looks to this. It's just because I'm such a good looking guy. And the charisma just exuberates off of me. <laughs> oh, we gotta go back to the other side? What's this place? Kitchen World. So these are gonna be outlets. Like, uh, this will be like a JC Penny, but it's the Aeon one. So, like, Aeon clothes and all this stuff. Hello, some challenge. So, like, this one, oh, I've walked around before on the other video, so you can kind of watch it for that. Another kid's playground. I don't remember this one. I don't remember this figurine one either. Everybody's super friendly here today. There's a Dazo, Japan. Let's go take this escalator over here. Not bad. Nice outfit. Oh, we got Gundam shop up here. Some Gunpla? I don't remember this gun game and hobby Gunpla. Gunpla place. Let's see if, what they got. I see Nintendo products, PlayStation products. I see figurines. Just a little bit of Gunpla. It's all different kinds of stuff. Has a Ninja H2. I used to build a shit ton of these. I'd buy this one. I don't have enough time anymore. Interesting though. I don't remember this being here last time. Come on. They're playing copyright music. Oh, they're a couple good ones. Evangelion. Boy, the Evangelion remakes were amazing. If you haven't seen them yet, whoo! Check it out, my guys. Check it out. This might not be the one with the bowling alley. I know this one has the movie theater, but I can't remember. I think one has the bowling alley, one does it. I can't remember if this is the bigger Aeon or the smaller either. Gelato shop over here if you want some gelata. As you can see, I'm, I'm in the zone again. I'm feeling happy with the vlogs, so everything's going good. Yo, there's always a California fitness up here too. Mini good, another Japanese store with like little Japanese knickknacks. That's really loud up here. What the hell's going on? Super amusement dream game? The lady chased me out of here. So like the arcade has just been expanding more and more each time as I come. This is only one arcade. You'll see there's a whole nother arcade section. So this is like the shooters, the, the UFOs, and like, you know, the ride along games. Dance dance games. They've got Midnight Maximum Tune. This might be the full arcade. We'll have to see. So instead of initial D, this one has midnight. Oh, he's got clubs on. Oh, they're really into it. Mario Kart. DDR. Dance, 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 dance. The rest of your life. Oh, these were big in Japan last time I went. So 
So a pretty good arcade. And then you've got an education center over here. You see a lot of that in these English centers up here on the top floor. You, of course, have got... Oh, we need to go see that. I'll take my wife to go see that this week. I want to see it in the movie theater. You got CGV, amazing movie theater. It's a shame they don't just do regular popcorn. It's got to be this sweet shit. You got California Fitness. They're always at the top, so I don't know if I'd ever sign up for one. Because it takes like five minutes to get up here. This is going to be your premium food. The premium food, the good stuff. King Barbecue is terrible. Dookie, I've never eaten at. Mm, Le Mans steak, I've never eaten at. Never eaten at this. We don't ever eat Vietnamese food when we're going to uh, restaurants like this. Because all this stuff's better on the street. Like, Town Ga is better on the street. A lot of this stuff's just better on the street. So why would I pay for a, a fancy version that isn't better? Pepper Lunch, pretty decent. Uh, the Udon and Tempura place is terrible. I don't know why people go there. It's like one of the worst Udons and Tempuras ever. I don't know. Maybe they've uh, accoutremented for... Uh, Vietnamese taste. This place is really good. Chang Kang Kung. That's the boiled food. I've done a food review there with Win. You can look for the video. It's very healthy, very good. I've never eaten at Hoi Tong Hot Pot Palace. We all know Hot Pot's my favorite. I've eaten at Ushi Mania. That was pretty good. Uh, pizza Company. Meh. The buffets are typically not good in Vietnam. They're terrible, actually. I would avoid them with plague. They're overpriced, and the food is very poor quality. Oh, this one looks good. Next time we come here, maybe we eat here. Quay Tung. There's going to be so many people here, though, because so many people aren't going to travel for the holiday. This looks pretty good. Kichi kichi. It's okay in a pinch. I don't mind it. Like I said, in a pinch. It's okay. I think there's one more arcade. This is the smaller Aeon, I think. The other one's bigger. If my mind remembers right. Some kind of Korean barbecue. Oh, Kagogi. Meh. It'd be the last Korean barbecue I'd pick to go to. Al fresco's gross. My wife had it for lunch. She said it was terrible. Confirm my suspicions of me never needing to uh, eat it. So another kids arcade. So another ticket arcade. So if you're into the ticket games, they've got you hooked up here. Ready to go. I think that's the full quick tour. And again, if you're gonna come here, be prepared, be prepared to come here for a half a day. This one doesn't have the bowling alley. If you want the bowling alley, you go to the other AM mall. That one's got even more stuff to do. But if you wanna go bowling, that's the one. I think this one has a the snow park for kids. I think they have ice skating around. I can't remember. It's like a little winter village though. So this one seems to be a little bit more tiny kid focus. All right, guys, that is the vlog. Like I said, don't sleep on Vietnamese malls, even if you're here on vacation. Excellent to go to. I think my two favorite malls are the other Aeon Mall and the one I did in District 9, which I can't remember the name of. If you remember, let me know in the comments section. Of course, if you want to meet up with me when you're in Saigon for a personal tour, you can sign up for the Patreon it's for as little as $5 a month or for as much as $11 a month. 
or if you do a whole year at a time, you get an even bigger discount where it can just be $100 for a whole year. I think 180 for a whole year at the second tier. So yeah, if you want to get at me and do a tour, that's the only way to do it. And uh, I appreciate you guys. Everybody's been signing up for the Patreon lately. It's been really, really great. I'm really stoked about it and uh, thank you. And if you enjoyed the video, the best way to help me would be to, of course, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment and smash that like button to get that algorithm going. If not, no worries. If I'm not your cup of tea, that's okay. I'm not everybody's cup of tea. I try though. So thank you all for watching. Have a fantastic day. Stay frosty. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.